I'm first and you're the last. Ricky Bobby quote, you gotta know. Yo, yo, what's up guys? How we doing? So a bit of an interesting stream today. I'm playing in a Challengers Cup, which is all a master duel. It's gonna be five rounds and uh, top four knockout. Only 32 players are in this tournament. So it should be uh, an interesting one. It's best of one during Swiss, followed by top four. Um, there is gonna be a delay on the whole stream. There's a delay of like two or three minutes, I believe I set it to. So, um, it will be delayed just to protect me when I'm playing the game. Uh, I'm sure you understand. And um, just to give the best viewer experience as well, because let's be real, I don't want someone to stream snipe me who I'm playing against and then gain a ton of information. Um, now, the tournament starts in about 55 minutes. So with that being said, I've pretty much locked a list um, that I'm going to play for the tournament. But I'm going to build some supporting lists during the tournament as well. So if I do make knockout, I'll change my deck. Or if I do feel this deck isn't good enough during the Swiss round, I might just change it drastically or, or like change to a different version. But there is a catch. I can't change or edit my list during the tournament. So all my changes have to be done before. Now, there are a few things that people probably didn't think of, but you could do. You could just make a generic list, right? And then just build different versions around that list to help you go second or go first, like you're siding, but you're not really siding, right? So let's say you want to play the same deck going in game two in top four, then what you could probably do is you could just build the list like you're going second. So you could add in like evenly matches, lightning storms. There's like some cool things and cool cool stuff you can do um, with, with deck building for this event, which people probably won't have caught on to yet, or they will, but they're probably a little bit behind right now. Um, so we should see how it goes. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually intrigued to see how this plays out. I've not played in a Master Duel tournament yet, and hmm, yeah, I want to. I'm curious. I've obviously played in like the festival stuff, but other than that, I've actually not played in an official Konami brand tournament yet. Um, but what it feels like to me, this is just like a, a bridge to bigger tournaments moving forward. Ultimately, leading up to the World Championships. Um, there will be a World Championships for Master Duel in 2023. Um, it World should be in America next year as well, given how it was meant to be there um, in 2020, but that got cancelled for obvious reasons. So, yeah, um, I believe they're just starting to really now finally realise and push Master Duel. Like they finally realise how good Master Duel can be as a platform for players. Um, they're, they're obviously just trial and erroring it because they obviously don't want to make it different from the trading card game. 
Um, I can see the benefits and the the, uh, the the upsides and downsides to doing that. But other than that, I'm yeah. If there's another way for me to play Yu-Gi-Oh and compete at a higher level, then I'm all for it. Um, so without further ado, let's play some games. Uh, let me know as well in the comments if you are struggling with the audio issues or if um, the screen is like being covered in a certain way. Um, just let me know. I can adjust it before the tournament starts. Um, a, a big help as well. I recently moved from Twitch to YouTube. If this is the sort of content that you want to watch and you enjoy the live streams, I am willing to do more live streams, but my viewership will be quite different from what my Twitch viewership was like just because I've recently moved to YouTube. So if you could do a big help for me, I would really appreciate it if you could like and comment below. Um, if you could share it to your friends, uh, anyone that you think would, would enjoy this stream or would gain value from it, I'd highly appreciate it. Um, it just allows me to do more streams for you guys and allows me to prioritize my content for what you guys like. All right, without further ado, let's uh, let's play some games. So I'm I'm actually gonna play something interesting this tournament, um, and I'm gonna I'm I'm playing I'm gonna play Runic, but I'm gonna play it with Branded, and I figured, well, why is no one playing Runic Branded right now? Um, just seems like a deck. Surely it's a deck that would work. So I've like built built it based on theory. I've never really used the Branded cards. Fully. So I'll still be learning with those, but as we're going along, um, yeah, it, just, it should be interesting. Love the runic stuff. Always been a huge fan since I read it. Um, and yeah, so I'm unsure what we should probably play as well alongside runic. Now, I'm, I'm in toying around with Sword Soul. We could play Sword Soul. Sword Soul's an option here. Is Sword Soul something that we actually want to do? Um, we have to think about it. Like, I, I actually don't like, I'm not a huge fan of the deck. Um, I'm not a huge fan at all. Um, but it but it is obviously very strong in Master Duel just because of um, Protoss. Now, I, I want to play that. I want I do want to play this. Uh, something around like Runic. I think this would be a solid deck. I think this would work quite well. Um... But yeah, let's see. Let's see. So let's play some games. Let's play some games, and then we should build. So I'll play a few games, um, one or two games, and then we'll just build something to go alongside with our Runic deck. I might build a vision, different versions of Runic. I might build a stun version as well, because I do think that'd be quite good in the later rounds of the tournament. Um, all right, so we're going first. Okay, solid hand. Solid start. Um... I mean, we should probably just lead with... This, discard this, let's do draw two. Go for a draw of an expel, cool. Hmm. Okay, we made a mistake here. We made a mistake already. This is just not great. <laughs> okay. Um let's just summon a runic. Let's win the deck as well, so we can draw into Brennan. I mean, we could chain block if we want to. I'd rather just target the cards. Play the cost first. So we'll just... I'm going to keep freezing curses. And then we'll trigger Fountain now and target the two. Hopefully we don't draw a Fountain. Doesn't really matter. Cool. Mm. 
I do like setting one to be fair. I think I'm gonna set man. It is close. I think I'm gonna set curses. And we're just gonna end. So guys, yeah, expect a delay during this stream. Uh, just to protect me during the tournament. Okay, our opponent's activating tip. So, um, cool. I'm actually, I'm fine with this. We have destruction. I'm saving my ash for their fountain. Okay, so they've got destruction, no problem. We have Hogan chilling. You get rid of my call by, that's fine. It's gonna be a dead card in this matchup anyway. Okay, my opponent's now activating. Losing curses. Oh, he's negating the effect so he can show my fountain. Um, sure. It's not resolved yet, so I'm going to change the structure now to it. Giving him a window opportunity to activate his runic spell to protect it with Hugin. Okay, that's fine. It's resolving. Interesting. So both destructions are getting it. So both field spells are getting destroyed. He hasn't got another runic spell. What's he playing with his runic cards? Oh, it's just a it's just a floodgate deck. Okay, this this Ash Blossom is gonna come in clutch. Okay, the fact that we haven't got a way to just activate a Runic card is annoying. So either I, I mean, our slumber is very nice here. Yeah, you could have enough destruction. That's fine. Um, sure. We'll just tug in this. Resolve, resolution. Go Hugin, banish, protect it. I mean, skill drain won't work because it's not an activating effect. And he'll be like, what, Kate? Oh, it does work. I thought it didn't work. Yeah, we're in a bad spot here unless we draw something. He doesn't play any like heavy battery removal anyway, so battle phase. Just getting used to this platform again, which would be definitely needed. To the end. Uh, nope. Go draining is up. So. We need to start getting attacking. We need to start attacking. Cool. Right, there's nothing that we can really take in their grave. And there's like, we can make Predator Plant, but that's just something we don't want to do. We can make Dark Charmer. It means if it just dies, we get a Protector. I think I like the Dark Charmer play here. We should be able to play this. You just want to like. I mean, we could, but it's just a, I feel like it's a waste to me right now. I'd rather have some protection. Um, I mean, we could set the banner in red. 
But Dark's really going to get us a monster anyway. If he gets destroyed. Got to think about what sort of deck he's playing against. We're playing against here. Okay, this is annoying. The stream is just the list still. Oh, you're right. Okay. Let me change that. That's so weird. Apologies. It should pick it up fully. Okay, let me fix this. Um, let me fix this. This is actually annoying. That's so strange it does that. It's never happened to me ever that before. Maybe because there's delay, maybe? But my, my main camera's working. Um, part of design, that's right. No, that's fine. You can do that. All right, chat. Good job you spotted that. Okay, how's that? Reason code is activated. Fine. Current has got 15 left in there, we've got 19. We need to clear this fountain. <clears throat> it's annoying. Okay, how's that now? Looks good. All right, let's do it. Um, one thing I could do is actually I'm gonna move my. Yeah, do this. Let's try that Twitch channel card. Um, no, this is all fine. Okay, how's that? Okay, this code is gonna be annoying. Really is going to come down stack out, isn't it? All from drawing one running tip. Crazy.
But we do have someone to protect, but we need to enter the battle phase. Important thing here. Uh, no, we're not. Let's go into the mod. We're not doing it. Cool. But we're just so far behind now. Really just come down to who has fountain. And we don't have destruction. All fits on screen, man. Audi is clear too. Perfect. Thank you, bro. Yeah, it looks alright, actually. I had no idea it was just stuck. Let's tweak this a little bit. Okay, that should be better now. Oh, it's on me. Okay, battle phase. I mean, our, our real option here is to only deck our opponent. We have to slumber this. We just have to play the slumber game. And luckily we enter that battle phase to be able to do this. So I'm going to use the one on the field. Because it's protected, we don't know. Oh, and it can't attack, right? That's so frustrating. I mean, we could flash and fire this and get rid of it. Um, I don't think we want to. We've already lost our next battle phase anyway. So we just set these now. Um, we have to like just hope we can deck out our opponent before he decks us out first. That's the right, the the only option we can really do here. He's down to ten. I mean, there really isn't much we can do here. As frustrating as it is. Now we're down to five. Our opponent now is going to use field spell. Hmm. I mean, doesn't matter because of that. So now all the good, all the good quick plays at bottom. So we look, want him to draw his like skull drains, and there only can be ones, and then we'll banish his um, recurring runic spells. Oh, we need to start playing these cards. We have lost the four. That's annoying. Oh, that's fine. Really doesn't matter here. We lose anyway. So what we're doing today is we're playing a, um, a Challenger's Cup. We're playing the Challenger's Cup um, at 6 o'clock in about 30 minutes. So we're just warming up. But we should just deck out here. We always deck out. There's like 
very few cards we can draw. Like the only thing we can really do is like draw tip, play tip. Um, yeah. Now, now more floor gates have been set. He's got seven in deck. The fountain's gonna do nothing because he's drawing the same cards. Okay, so we draw tip. Okay, this is like the only hope we have. We have one card left in our deck, right? And we need to hope that's something else. But even though. Uh, yeah, so it's a runic card left in deck. Rivalry, fine, call and Columbo. Okay, wow, dragon. Right, yeah, well, that's Columbo. And then, yeah, there's just like nothing we can do. Okay, cool. Right, so if, so for this tournament, I think I'm going to play like Runic Branded. We had a r rough start there. We didn't really draw any starting pieces. And then our opponent drew into uh, Fountain once we disrupted him, which is like a bit of variance there, but it happens. I'd rather it happen in the warm up games. So let's, um, let's build a new deck. Let's build a new Runic deck ready for this tournament. So, uh, so I'm looking at right now playing this for the tournament. What do you think, guys? Cooked up some spice today. What do you think? Runic branded. I seem like a madman. I put all the best runic cards in the deck with the, with a small branded package, which should be just enough. And remember, right? All your guys that you're summoning are fusion monsters, really. And you can use your um, like you can use material. Like you can use your hugging as a material, for example, because it's a fusion. Very useful for like with certain cards you have. So I'm thinking about using this. Let me know what you think. All right, now let's build something new. Let's build a runic deck. So I really like runic. Love them. Okay, let's just start with the best cards. We probably are going to need free fountain in this version. If we decide to go with that, um, we need free slumber. Uh, definitely two fountain, minimum two fountain. We could we could go with like a deck out strategy, really. Do we want that? Do we actually want that though? That's the question. Do we really want a deck out version? I just don't. I'm not a huge fan of them. I'm not a huge fan, but it's so it's so solid once it gets going. I guess we could try like. I guess we could work something on it. We could play it, I guess. I think these are the only ones we want, really. We probably do when I want a third fountain if we're playing all these. And we need destruction as well, don't we? Yeah, if we're playing all these, we probably do want, do want three. Okay, I definitely want to have Maxi in my deck. You might think I'm crazy, but I think I'd rather play Maxi than Demise. Ash Blossom, just because in this format, Ash Blossom right now is so broken. Um, we could, I could play Imperm, but I'd rather play like some cards like Skull Drain. Um, definitely want to play... Um, I mean, Rivalry is really good, right? Gonna write two of those. What now, hey? Like, we want pots for sure. We want consistency cards. Like, duality should be solid in this, unless we special summon. I'm pretty sure desires will be solid because every card we're playing is like basically a free of. Except, like, the odd runic stuff. But I think we do need three of these. I like Imperm. Am I crazy for liking Imperm? I think their only one will be solid as well in this tournament. Hmm. Chat, what do you think? I 
What do we think? Let me have a look. Let me, um... Let's have a look online. Let's see some lists. Maybe we just play Free Fountain, you know? Maybe we just do it. What do you think, chat? Free Fountain, yeah? Free Fountain. I think so. I just want something extra to do more, you know? Do you know what I mean? Like an extra way to push. I think if we're playing these, we want to play the Charmers. I mean, do we probably want to play the Earth one as well. Uh, we need, we do need a fountain. Okay, so they're at 34 right now, chat. Hmm. I just want something else. Something to do some damage, you know? Like, just something to do some damage. I just think a list on its own can't really push without having something else. Malachi Fiend is hilarious. Oh, I think that's so smart. Just what? Just summon? That's oh, so smart. You know what? Right, how are we spawn this shit? Here we go. Hmm, I think you're I think you're so right. Imagine just tribute summoning this and then start picking everything away. Alright, this guy sold me. You sold me, bro. Good job. Alright, that's definitely a good find. Hmm. What about Lava Golem? You need to Lava Golem. Actually, that's crazy. What Nibiru? I, I don't know. I don't think about Nibiru. I don't think Nibiru is the card. For this. I really don't think so. I mean, I can see the point of Majesty Fiend, right? You just tribute summon it. And then you've got Floating Beat Stick for control. While stacking your opponent out. Now we got to ask ourselves, do we want any more Runic cards? We are playing 21, including the Fountains. We are playing 3 Desires. We don't want Duality then, do we? Because we want to mill. We want to excavate. I think Maxi is just too important not to play. Do we want to play more Floodgates? Um, like, we probably want to play, like, there any, can only be one. I know. Um, well, where is it, bro? Yeah, where is it? We don't own it then. Yeah, we could play this. This would probably be a good card to play. Then you control one type. Hmm. So if we play like two of these, I mean, we could play three. And then truly deck our opponent out and be in true control. We slow them down during their turn. Then we contribute for this. We, then we just truly deck out. But then we might want more of these. Maybe like a second runic smitting storm. These, th these cards I'm not a huge fan of. 
like entirely. This is so situational. It's okay, but I'm not a huge, huge fan. But I feel like right now we're in a format where we can really like take advantage of the new cards that Master Duel's trying to adapt to. And that's what we're trying to find here. We're trying to find the, a way to give us like the biggest edge. The biggest edge. But the biggest edge here. Like, what do we. Like, the biggest edge. Hmm. The biggest edge. Do we want goes a match? Do we want goes a match? I mean, we could play um, Upstart Goblin. The card I like. You know? I don't want to play Runic Allure. I don't think that's good enough. Definitely the Skull Drains. We definitely want the Rivalries. I do think this will be really good. I do think this will be really, really good. Hmm, I kind of want some more removal. Just for fountain, just for the mirror match. I think the main deck's fine for the for the non mirror right now. So I definitely want one of these. How good is this against Branded? That's the question. How good is it against Branded? Like, obviously, it's just not great at any point. We can't really commit more spots to it. One is just just to give us that extra win percentage against the Mirror if we lay a second. Hmm. There only could be one. I can't get there only could be one out of my head. Like, I can't get it out of my head. What do you think, chat? What do you think? Call by the Grave? No, I don't think so. Is the Adventure Engine any good with this deck? That's such a good question. You're not normal summoning. Is the Adventure Engine any good with this deck? Oh, man. That's such a good... That's such a good point. Is the adventure engine any good with this deck? We now have a bounce. It's just if we play against the mirror match, we're going to struggle. But having like Griffin, a token, which can deal damage as well as controlling the game, also give us tribute fodder. Like, we can tribute the token with right, can't we? Or can't we? So what, we play two right, one water. Fateful. Um. Hmm. Draco back. Then do we just play a legal knight then? Oh, the Griffin. What's the question here? Gives you a body and provides pressure. Foolish? You could play Foolish just because of this. But at every point, it's just bad. I mean, I'm not really bothered about not drawing these cards, but it's, I just want something else to give me extra. Something extra. It means I can't play Desires. Right? Now, would we rather have th this engine or the or the full or the desires engine? Because if we play desires, we, we have so many, we have we, everything's a free of, so we don't really mind what we banish. 
um, the adventure engine. I'm just trying to think, if we go second, we'll pick away the ball, we'll play it right, we'll get a token, we'll get Griffin, then we'll pick away everything. If they have Mirror Jade, we're kind of screwed. Um, I just want something extra. Extra damage. I like Draco back because we can start bouncing stuff. Like, we can just bounce the token if we want to. But if there's Runic around, the Runic's going to really hurt us because it's going to banish everything. So I don't actually think we could play this. As smart as it is, and what I do like your suggestion. Still think we can. Still think we can play it here. Like, I'm getting toyed with this more and more. Let me dismount one of these because they're two. They won't right now. Cool. Chat, do we just do we just go with there and it can be one? Just two copies of there and it can be one. I do I kinda like the one up the one cosmic. I kinda like the one copy of cosmic. I'm just gonna look at some branded lists. I wanna see what they're playing. Maybe we just play branded. Chat, what do you think? Maybe we just reg branded and play branded. Nah, nah. We're... I'm gonna build branded up quickly after. Let me just finalize this list. I like it because it, it's not, um, it doesn't get hurt by much, but I do feel like we need more floodgates. Maybe we just play two goes and... Maybe we just play something like this. Okay, we haven't got much time, so let's just do that. Um, then we need to work on the extra deck. The definitely Phoenix. Uh, I like Unicorn. I think we can play Cerberus here. I mean, we don't have to. Got to think about. I like the Charmers. I like ranking up, I like leveling up. I think we should play Access Code. Um, which else we might come up? Hmm. What else might come up? They definitely that. Can we use the limit zero times next one? This card can. Uh, and yes, we're just saying how much of our. Oh, that should be decent. That should come up. And then we probably want. Uh... That should be it. But they're the only notable cards I can think of right now. I mean, we could play more of these. Here's a dark. And she'll come up. I mean, this is a tuner as well. Hmm. Oh, 
I'll be good. Whichever synchros would be good. I mean... This could be decent. Very situational though, right? Confirmed 250th London value. Ah uh, man, that's gonna be crazy. What an event to announce. Yeah, that's the best one I think they've ever announced for us. Amazing. Uh, enemy control to steal monsters? Mm, you could do. You could do that. Got the Earth Channel, got this. I think, I think we do want this. I, think I can see this coming up quite a bit. Then laddering up. Um, anything else? Easiest ladder climber? Yeah, I think so. Just popping, probably on with the field spell equipped to Magic Student Stain. Just popping with what? Papalillion? What's that card? I think this, I think, hmm. Maybe, maybe to Cerberus now. Yeah, just throw my extra cards. And then let's go to some of selected cards. Okay, is there any cards here that I should just get rid of? That's at one. That's at one. There are two, that's fine. We can just play level nine. I mean, cool, let's just... I mean, I'm never going to play Labyrinth for my ever. Never going to play it. Right, let's just get this. Save this. Let's quickly test it. Let me check, the, check this tournament. This tournament is very exciting very soon. Mm. Vale, chicos. Alguna duda en español? Alguna duda? Uh, please, any doubt, any question? Please uh, send message in chat. Thank you, Lampi, and enjoy the tournament. Okay, it just seems like it's the waiting room. Gracias, Pere. Sí, Kenji. Lo de las mesas os va a salir por, en, si no me equivoco, era en participante, no, en resultados. Eso hace. Ahí os va, va a salir una lista, una lista de. Eh, de, de los jugadores, ¿vale? Entonces ahí os sale el oponente. Tendréis que. Eh, buscar a vuestro oponente aquí en el Discord y desgraciadamente tendréis eh, podéis hablar entre vosotros y poner oye estoy en la mesa 10 oye estoy en la mesa 8 vale eh, y entonces encontrados y no podéis comenzar hasta que en el chat no pongamos la ronda comienza ya vale eh, temas de tiempos eh, si tu oponente no aparece a los 5 minutos se da aviso Y entonces esa persona eh, se queda fuera del torneo. English. Um, if your opponent don't appear in five minutes, please send a message with uh, the uh, um, call the staff 
okay? And uh, of course, we uh, give you the, the win and drop the, the opponent. Exacto, se me había olvidado en el español. Um, si vuestro oponente no aparece en 5 minutos, tenéis que llamar a staff, muy importante, inglés, uh, every important thing, please call staff in chat, okay? Cualquier cosa importante, el eh, resultado, eh, problemas, dudas o lo que sea, por favor poner arroba staff, ¿vale? Yes, remember in my channel, in Twitch channel, I give you the link. So give me a moment. But in Spanish, ok. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ok, Kenji, ¿te ha quedado claro? Perfecto, me alegro. Me alegro. Vale. Eh... <risa> vale, Coco. Gracias, Xavi. Una razón enorme. Os eh, me salgo un momento a seguir aquí, ¿vale? No os vayáis. Please don't leave this uh, chat channel. And I will be back in a few minutes. It sounds good. I was finalizing a list. I don't like this really. I'm not sure that. Muy bien, chicos, son casi las 7, ¿vale? Eh, ahí explico en Spanish now. Eh, son casi las 7, daremos ese margen para que incluso ahora, ahora mismo ha habido alguien que se ha ido, ¿vale? O sea, que es que es así. Eh, el importante, como he comentado, ¿vale? Haremos un join que tendréis que volver a confirmar el acceso al torneo, ¿vale? Y, eh, y ya pues si está todo ok, si están los 32 jugadores y demás, podremos comenzar. Si no hay 32 jugadores, haremos un aviso por, el, por la Fruit Zone, haré un aviso de que quedan, pues oye, quedan dos slots, quedan cinco slots, ¿vale? Entonces eso. En inglés. In a few minutes, we, uh, we send a new message to rejoin in the tournament. If we don't have 32 players, we uh, send a message with everyone in Fruit Zone to join, uh, to give the opportunity to another player, to a new players, ¿ok? So just give my, give us a minute to start the tournament. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, sure. We have that, we have that, we have this.
This is fine. Yeah, this should, this should be fine. This should be fine, chat. Okay, we're just waiting now for the next player. Now for the, uh, the tournament start. Just update socials. Where is it? Round one's about to start. It's all ready. I think they're already good. You can play card demise. Get ahead. Muy buenas chicos, nada en nada, ya vamos a comenzar y vamos a mandar ya el check, ¿ok? Entonces tendréis que reinscribiros en el torneo con el aviso que os va a salir, ¿vale? En inglés, uh, we send uh, the new uh, rejoin in the tournament, so please check uh, the, the, your message and rejoin in the tournament. If we have a, a new slots to new players, of course we send... Uh, a call in Fluzon or you can uh, with a friends. <ríe> vale, chicos, eso. Vamos a hacer el, el la rellamada. Eh, te, os saltará la alerta, os saltará el rejoin. Y nada, y con eso ya. Con eso ya comenzamos, eh. Okay, I'd love to speak another language, but then again, I, I was so naive when I was a kid, right? Right now, I would like to. Now, I definitely would like to. But when I was younger, I, my priorities was elsewhere, and I, and I always said to my teachers, like, "What's the point in learning a language when everyone learn, knows English?" Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's but it's right. It's, I think it's true. I think if everyone just speaks, if everyone's learning a certain language, then why are we learning a language which is only being spoken in? A very few countries, like French, for example. How many how many countries speak French? Two, like Canadian French and French and France, right? Okay, so now we're just waiting for our, waiting for this tournament to start. It's very about it's about to start any second now. Can't wait to play round one. Hmm. Okay, what's going on now? Just 
Just on another screen with Discord, that's all, guys. Chats, give me two secs. <laughs> Just sorting out um, socials ready for this. Vale, chicos, ya podéis entrar, ¿vale? Ya podéis hacer el join en el torneo. Please uh, join in the tournament. We send your message to start the tournament now. Okay. How does this work then? So check in. Confirm. Okay, so I've checked into the tournament. Hello, did they release the KO, uh, King of Games rank? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, but we need to put ourselves in a position where we're ready to take that on. So I've just come back into Mastodon. So I'll be streaming way more regularly than I do. Uh, or I have been. I haven't been streaming at all. But now my stool's been like revived. We're back. Okay. So. What do you think of this? This deck I might play today. What do you think of this deck? Where is it? Uh, Ring Spice.
Thanks for this. What do you think? So Tommy should be starting. Um, looks like they're just doing something. Five minutes left to end the checking. Please check your participation or you'll be kicked from the tournament. Easy. Okay, we're checked in. Cool, easy. Play game. Might have enough time, to be fair. I'm going first, yeah? Easy. You just want to draw a card? I don't really like that. I don't, really, I don't like that. I'm just going to do this. Okay, easy. Let's go, Jane. Yeah, let's go, Jane. Solid. What's this little frog gonna do? All right. All right. I didn't expect it to go this way, but it. it yes, it did. The tournament's about to start, so we just this is just literally just a practice warm up game. If you call this a warm up game, Alright, man, I made a mistake. I should pick battle, shouldn't I? Does that mean I just missed my next battle phase now? What do you think? What do you think? They're all warm ups until you win. Yeah, you're so right. That's so right. Imagine having that mindset. Holy fuck. Oh. 
Yo, Dags, how you doing, man? Are you good? Long time. Confirm when you're... Okay. Four. Yeah, you got to link someone. Yeah, so the, the actual tournament's going to start any second. Let's just do this. We'll miss the next part phase anyway. I mean, this really isn't a warm up. Even if we do win, <laughs> you know? Cool. Everyone, please check now. I have to give this guy the win, that'd be annoying. Check what? What are we checking? Okay, we don't forget this time. Everyone, please check now. I'm, I'm in for sure. I mean, we're probably just going to deck out by how many life points we're going to be on. I'm alright, man. Been busy. How about you? Good man. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. Um, life's good. Tiring at times, but it's good. It really is. Um, Special this. No, nope, go ahead, man. Go nuts, bro. Link into whatever you want to make. Muy bien, chicos, eh, vamos a abrir eh, plazas, ¿vale? Porque solo tenemos 24 confirmados. Eh, entonces vamos a hacer una última llamada en la Fruzon y para que pues, haya gente que se pueda entrar. We only have 24 players confirmed. Uh, so we have uh, two slots to new players, so we have a uh, new chance in two players to join in the tournament. Please uh, wait a few minutes. We will start now. This running deck is so good. Like, any any non-meta deck has no chance. But then again, they, they don't have a chance to get anything.
Okay. We're just filling it up. We just literally have to go back out now. Before this tournament starts. Let's draw a brand of fusion. Muy bien chicos, eh, nada, ya hemos metido a los 8 nuevos jugadores, así que realmente vamos a comenzar en muy breves. Estáos atentos, haremos la llamada de que la de para que miréis vuestro, vuestro <risa> contrincante Man. y eh, haremos la llamada por chat eh, de que comienza la ronda. In English, we have a uh, eight new players, so we have the opportunity, of course, to, to join a uh, new players and uh, in a uh, few minutes really in a few minutes we will start uh, the first round thank you very much a uh, question for you when you have time but for your full monty coaching sessions when it comes to scheduling can it be done two hour chunks or do you prefer six individual sessions um i actually don't really mind so what a lot of um what a lot of people do now is they book like in two hour segments as well because we can get quite a lot done in there and it the momentum then isn't like gone from like one hour to the next hour and next hour it just naturally flows so you, you basically when you book it you get six um you get six like tickets which you can redeem tokens you can redeem um and then you select the slots that are available and then if it makes sense for me, well if it works out for me at that time slot then i'll accept it on my end and then uh, we can do the sessions in one hour slots or two hour slots sometimes it can be a three hour slot it does really depend on what we're doing and covering but um other than that it's usually two hour slots yes and let's just summon mirror jade i really like brian with this deck okay oh we gotta go there we go. I don't want to surrender this winnable game. Um, match free. Begin your match when you complete type score best of one. How do I, so what do I do now then? Oh, I see. So, wh wh where do I go for runes? Where are the runes? Your room.
Um, so where's my Oh, oh, what am I doing? I need to change my deck. Good job I didn't enter a wrong deck. Okay. Okay, so we're about to start now. how they respond to this. Oh my god. That's the worst card here. That's the worst card. Um, no, I'll keep my slumber. That's so annoying. I had such a nice trick up my sleeve. It means he's got Ash Blossom as well, then. Like, this game was locked. Okay. We'll try and run it fountain. He'd probably go Ash if he was thinking so long on the Hoogan. This resolves that we win. This resolves we win. He's probably got Ash Blossom here. Yeah. It's so predictable. That was like the worst card. Man, that was a ruling question actually. During the end phase, banish the face up monsters banish the effect. Does that act does that activate though? Does gamma activate in the end phase? Oh 
I mean, I'm going to lose anyway if I don't tribute summon, so. I should have specialed it, tribute summoned, then did all my plays. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. We're fine. We might be fine still. But having Gamma Ash was so frustrating. And we need to draw any Runic card now, and we're fine. It might be hard to out this Magic Fiend. Unless he's got, like, Branded Fusion. Very. It's probably gonna he's gonna banish six if he's desperate, three if we're gonna and we're gonna lose. So if he banishes three, we lose. We're gonna lose the game if he banishes three. He has to banish six, and it still puts us in a really awkward position. Okay, there's hope. There's hope then if he's banishing six. Fossil dig, lost world, Rara. Here against dinos. Oh, Droplet, last card. He gets Droplet, and now he wins. Last card, Droplet. So ridiculous. My gosh, man. I mean, this game was so winnable. All we do is just... I, I just don't... I just not expect Gamma at all. Ash, I'm fine with. Because I'm never... I'm tributed something first. I would, I'd, I'd attribute something first. Then I would have played my Slumber, Protect My Majesty Fiend. And then I would do three cards. That's so frustrating. Hopefully he can't kill me, and hopefully I draw a runic card next turn. And I can draw three. Let's just hope he can't clear the fountain with the Majesty Fiend. Of course he has Misk. Okay, alright, so now, yeah, we just lose the game. It's very frustrating. He just straight with someone's terror now. What? Alright, there's hope then. There's hope. Hope. We get two turns. We get two turns to draw cards. We get two turns to draw cards. Runic card. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's hope. Uh, pill's gone. Uh, yeah, we'll use Fountain for sure. I think we just clear the fat fire now. There's a draw phase, I'm going to flash and fire. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm gonna draw two here, just in case. I mean, oh, oh, oh shit! Misclicked. Damn it! I misclicked. That's okay though. Um, no. Next turn, we'll just draw an extra card.
It really is a magic deck, this deck. So now whichever card our opponent adds, we'll just ruin it, uh, dispelling it. They'll end their turn. They might just concede though, because they know we're going to get so much advantage. Nope. Nine minutes left in the clock. He's okay. We have three names in there. Well, we're just going to lock the game by having mixed summoning this and drawing three and gaining life. Means we'll either deck them out or we just uh, win a life. Grand phase. Like he's he's top decking, so he can yeah he can mean he can draw like half a silver duster and we and we're still in because he can't clear this and we just set up again and we have skill drain for any name his misc is gone. Here we go, another thousand. cool thing about this deck is you just banish so many resources from your opponent that it just puts you so far ahead and it means one of's become more valuable like if you draw them against the running player Grand phase. So tournament's five rounds, best of one, twenty minute clock, and then it's top four knockout, best of three. Well, semi finals is best of three, the finals is best of five. It's really hard to lose in this position. I know my opponent's now drawing cards, but it's still really hard to lose in this position. And anything he starts to activate, I'm just going to start banishing. I'm going to start changing my stuff to banish. He hasn't played a pot yet for a while, so he might have drawn a pot. Mm. 
start banishing more cards. Um, good. Thanks, gone. Surprise, not conceded yet. I mean, Giant Rex is coming back. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll activate this. Then we'll chain max C. He's turn player, so he gets to respond first, and I get to respond. He might have call by for this because he's just been passing, so he probably has call by the grave for this. Nope. <laughs> Cool. And there's just four minutes on the clock left. Let's just get rid of this. We're banishing cards. Um, we're filling up a great amount of runic cards. Everything that's gone. Look, lightning storms, lightning storms, that's good. Um, no. The real lightning storm would would hurt us here, probably, if he's got the last one in his hand. Which he might be holding on to, because it would make sense to. Desires. We're not gonna play desires here, that's just crazy. Mm, let's just get rid of some more cards. draw some cards hopefully we draw a tip because it just locks like we should just deck them out then probably next turn if we draw a tip here it doesn't really matter what order we put them in I mean, we could get this I actually probably prefer getting another slumber here Oh, we already have one in our hand. Mm. No, no. Okay. Should be locked. Should be locked, anyway. Like, this is the turn they have to start playing their cards. Okay, Lost World. I'm just going to clear it. This one is making space. I'm just put this on. Uh, so we'll target this. I want to give myself all right real quick play with spell bead to effect um no no i want to use the stretcher now and then as soon as this resolves you just scoop I'm going to get Flashing Fire. Right, 
There's nothing he can do. There's just no way. There's no way. Like, Lightning Storm is his only hope. But then we have Ash for any big push he has. Right, I need to report my result. Okay, so we won round one. You win, chat. Chat, you win. What's surprising, like? Yeah, Grim, what's up? So, the winner gets the white Macedal pack, uh, mas white Macedal sleeves in the like the nice display box, and the second place get the black Macedal sleeves in the, in that box. Um, they're both quite nice, actually. Quite expensive. Um, cool. So, what's going on here then? All right, so we won the match. Easy. Well, okay, I'm not going to say easy because it was a grind at the beginning because of Gamma and Ash Blossom. But if we're playing through Gamma and Ash Blossom plus Droplet and a way to play, then we're solid. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Okay, so there's 32 players. It's five rounds of Swiss, best of one. Um, and then top four... Knockout with best of three in top four, and then the finals with best of five. My opponent's just messaged me on Twitter. Bless him. Good guy. Okay, so all the results have been reported now. Because it because it's all like through remote at Macedal and it's only 20 minutes, the next round should be quite quick. So um let's update. Yo chat, if you're here and watching the stream. Because um well, if you're here watching the stream and you, you know, I'd appreciate it. It's something like so small that costs you absolutely nothing. If you could click the like button and click the subscribe button if you haven't. Um, and even just comment. You have no idea what that does to the algorithm. And then if you really want to go out of your way and help me even more, if you could share this out to um, a friend or someone who you think would enjoy this sort of content, then I'd appreciate that. So we won round one. This deck's nice, you know. This deck is nice. This deck is nice. Okay, so they announced a 250 YCS in LA. Uh, Bogota, Colombia, and London.
Wow. Wow, Konami. Konami, you're spoiling us. I kind of like it when it's all in one location. Let's get this up. Hundred. Let's get this up, chat. So thousands of duelists have competed in Yu-Gi-Oh events for over 20 years. The journey began in 2004. The 100 YCS, with a record-breaking attendance of 4,364 duelists. I was first in Swiss in that event as well. The 200 YCS, the first YCS in three locations simultaneously. And 2019, the first team YCS. And in 2021, the first remote duel YCS. Vale, chicos, estamos eh, metiendo todas las Each rondas year, para dar comienzo a la segunda ronda en el lo mayor posible, la mayor brevedad posible. Each year, the duelists get stronger. Winds of the results uh, just now and to. Yet. The, the round next round landmark round. event coming yeah, in 2023, months. Los Angeles, California. Bogota, Colombia. London, United Kingdom. Oh, it's going to be sick, man. I live in London as well. This is amazing. The 250th Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series. All right, good job. Okay, this will be fun. This is going to be fun. Chat, how cool is that? How cool is that? Let me just check. I'm to check. Hundreds of thousands of duelists have competed in Yu-Gi-Oh! events for over 20 years. Oh, next round's up. Next round is up, chat. Okay, let me find the guy. Um... Okay. So, what's going on? Begin your match when you complete. Begin your match when you complete. Tight. Okay, score. Okay. Hey. Okay, here we go. Here we go, chat. Round two.
Vale, chicos, eh, the round start now. La ronda comienza ya, chicos. Okay, let's go. Round two. Round two. Okay. It's nice, nice starting. Winning the flip. There's a bronze list. Okay, I would say this deck is hard to brick with. And I believe it is. Do I want this? Get my phone. Play this, get that. Or this, this is need to resolve then. What a weird hand, hey? I assume we're against Branded here. Tom and Great. Tom and Great, I think I have to stop it. I just have to waste it. I can't risk it. If he has call by or cross out, that's fine. But it just is what it is. He does have the call by. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. I like the animation though. The animation's alright. This will get the gazelle. So to 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 guarantee well to guarantee going top four you need five wins obviously four one will top as well um, I think one four one should miss out or one four one should just make it he's got foxy this can be a problem if it hits it's a problem if it hits. We just have to max it here. It depends, really. He can link away and draw two um, and give me one card, or he can just not do that, being conservative. But then if he does that, he might not get to draw two cards from Buffalo. It is a spot probably he's not been into much. This is fine. I'd rather him just not summon anything and hopefully we can draw into it something. Because remember, he's called by my Ash Blossom, which means he can't Ash Blossom me next turn. He might set one and pass, but he's usually passing here, unless he's got like a... That is either set one and pass or just end. Okay, he does decide to commit to it, realizing he should. Okay, he's cool. I don't blame him. I actually don't blame him. 
I'm just glad Ash Blossom can't be played next turn. It's all fine. Then he'll send Foxy to draw two. Yep. Then he might reveal Gazelle, but probably not. He might just hold his Gazelle. Let's just hope he didn't draw any Rage or Rolls. Then free. Doing this now. I've also got four face down, so he can't run me. I we're really unlucky to actually not being able to play then. This will resolve. This is always resolving. Means we're not less likely to show a fountain next, right? Why would you play Solomon Gray in the Solomon? Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Protected through Hoogan, but he should negate this probably with his counter trap. Doesn't mean it's right, but in the long run, it's correct. I'm so getting stream sniped by how long it's taking. See? See how long it's taking. Why would he take that long? Unless he doesn't know what Salomon Great does. Pretty sure he's got Ash in his hand with the field spell because he had a response last turn which he could have used something. So I think he's got Ash Possible in his hand. Field spell and Gazelle. Just want one of these not to be raw. I mean rage, I mean. But probability wise he's likely to have it. Which means it's just an auto loss. But I just don't like how long he's taking. Um okay, so he's stopping the Majesty Fiend.
And now our rivalry's turned off. That's frustrating. I could have played it another way, where I would have just started discard the rivalry and then relied on Maxi drawing me a card and hoping to draw into a runic card, which is kind of like high risk, high reward. But I figured that with the hand I had, I could have just played I guess, played slowly and snowballed by preventing his stuff and then hopefully like draw a runic card the next turn instead of relying on Maxi to draw me that card. Salad, like, well, salad would great. We call it salads, really, in, like, in the competitive scene. Really does struggle against, like, Skull Drain, Majesty Fiend, Vanity's Fiend. It, it relies on cards just to negate. Because um, it, it doesn't have any big monsters that can attack over stuff. So it needs monster effects, like Ladder Climb and Link Up. I really don't know why my opponent's taking quite a while with his turn. Okay, that makes sense. Internet issues. Action issues. Now he's going to use this to destroy this set one. Queen survive. Okay, so he gets to draw a card as well. Um, I 
imperming it again. Okay, not bad. Okay, so it, my opponent would have just impermed my Hugin in the previous turn. So yeah, we. Move main in Harpy's Featherstone would have been good for this tournament, considering the rogue decks in this event. We don't really have any ways to win now. Like flashing fire, destroying the access code, we still will have enough to attack us for game next turn. The back row can't be played anyway, so he shouldn't negate it. He shouldn't destroy it. He's risking it being like awakening the dragon. Unless he just doesn't want me to have it for next turn. Right, give me Ash Blossom. Okay. <laughs> give me Ash Blossom. Yeah, but like, fine. That's fine. Do we just go here now? Do we just go here into my access code? Or do I just synchro for this? Oh, but we don't get a battle phase. What the fuck? We don't get a battle phase. I just have to banish your spinny then. It's like the only player I have. I just go to end phase. I mean, we can't attack anything because we used a runic spell last turn. And we just we just can't win. We just can't win this game. Like we're trying, but there's like nothing we can really do here. We could think good for this. Yeah, this will just get him to, it'll just, yeah. It'll snowball here. He has 13 cards left in deck. Which means there's a chance if we do desires, we could deck him out. 
That's our only way. Like, our only hopes of winning this game is if he disconnects or if we deck him out. I don't think there's any other way to win here. Both are so improbable. But maybe I should be careful what I'm commenting because I think I'm getting, well, I know I'm getting screen, stream sniped. I know he's watching my stream right now. My opponent. Maybe I just don't comment on what he should do next. Oh, yeah, definitely don't comment on what he should do next. I probably should have a falling card. Cool. Imagine if you keep like disconnecting or like uh, not disconnecting, but like, well, disconnecting softly in a way where it tries it just reconnects straight away after, so it just wastes time. Yeah, so we take eighteen. I think 20 minutes is a, a, a it shouldn't have a time time limit in best of one because games can take up to like 50 minutes then right probably more enjoyable if the act if the tournament lets each player play best of one each round and then the finals make it like or the semi-finals make it best of three finals best of three with like 30 minutes time limit per game You get your own oh yeah. No, it's just a loop with raw. Keep adding raw, cool. Cool. Uh uh GG. GG. Unfortunate. Okay, so we lose that game. See this bracket. Yeah, we want to see this bracket. Okay. Alright, so we lose that game. We're 1 1 right now in the tournament. It's still not over. Still not over, chat.
Round three incoming soon. Yo, I know Lumpy. Yeah, yeah, Lumpy's the commentator, bro. He commentates now. You know, he's actually a nice guy, you know. He is. Um, I've only interacted with him, like, five times, probably. Five, four, five, six times, something like that. Every time it's been ple a pleasure. He's just a nice guy. He really is. Um, he messaged me saying his internet was lagging. Uh, it did seem like it. It's okay, though. Um... Yeah, he's a super nice guy. Yeah, he really is. He is really chilled out and down to earth. Okay, I can't say he's not. Um, yeah, I mean, like, w he doesn't really get to play much, right? Because he commentates now. So he probably plays in, like, the odd regional, um, the odd nationals, unless he commentates. But probably not even the nationals. So he just, like, the only real tournaments he can play in is Masador. And the reason why he probably went with Solomon Great is because probably that's the last deck he could really play tournaments with before he commentated seriously. So, yeah. Wouldn't be my choice of deck, though. <laughs> but, yeah. We're just waiting for the next round. Looks like they're about to start very soon, actually. We've got all, pretty much all the results. So we need to win the next three. We need to win the next three, chat. Let's just put this here so it's easier for players. Let's know what's going on. We're about to approach round three. I'm currently 1 1 in games. Yeah, I'm 1 1 now, unfortunately. Bueno, chicos, ya están todos los resultados, así que la siguiente ronda va a ser breve. Oh, we yes. have all the results of the second round. We are start the third round in a few moments. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, so it's best of one, Grim. But top four is best of three. And then top five. But no, then top, the finals is best of five. We got we got two more of these coming up, so it's like a challenges cup for content creators. I'm playing in Lithiums on the twenty seventh, and then I'm playing in someone else on the twenty eighth. So yeah, I'm one one, reckon. Uh, what's up, guys? Yeah, what's up? We're just waiting on round three. It's literally about to start. Oh, it looks like they've just posted it. I like the speed of this. I must admit, I like the speed of it. Come on, round three. Round three. I like the deck. I do like the deck. 
So there's a spicy list I could have played. We have like runic branded. I've not seen anyone else do it. And I was just like brainstorming. And I figured, okay, yeah, let's cook something up. I might post my list actually in the uh, Master Good Dual Groups. Cool, what's going on now? Well, next dual play, I play Galaxy Eyes. So I play like Runic. I play Branded as well. Um, what else do I play? Well, I play very little of Branded, to be fair. I play Runic. Um, that's basically it right now. Okay, looks like round three is about to start. Am I going to the 3v3 in Vegas? Yeah, I'm going to go. Still finalizing a team though, um, but I'll be there for sure. I love Vegas. It's a week after Lyon in France as well. What's going on? It's been nice being able to travel to all the YCSs. I don't travel to all of them. I try to, but I can't travel to all of them. Um, but yeah, it's fun. It really is. I am lucky. I am really lucky, to be honest. I mean, I, I haven't traveled to, to all of them over the years. Like, there's, there's certain players who just travel to every single one, and I just don't. But I should really. 
Ok, chicos, eh, tenemos un problema con el bot, desgraciadamente, así que vamos a tener que hacer un break de 10 minutos, ¿vale? Eh, tenéis 10 minutos de descanso, a más o menos eh, a menos 20, eh, podéis volver para que esperemos podamos lanzar la ronda en unos minutos después. Sorry, we have, en inglés, we have a problem with the bot. So, I'm, I'm sorry, it's the bot. Uh, so uh, please come back. In, we have uh, we give you a break of two minutes. Okay, uh, drink water, eat something, or go to the toilet. In two min in ten minutes, please uh, come here to oh, start the third round. I'm so sorry. Is the bot? I'm so sorry. Just don't use the bot. Why don't you just don't use the bot then? Just do it manually. Like, I guess we'll just play some games then. Why use the bot then? Like... Alright, so let's play some games. Ten minutes, eh? Do you have any idea what deck you are going to play for the event? No idea yet. It's too new, like too way too early to, to start thinking about that. Uh, we don't know all the cards that are coming out yet for the event. We don't know what's going to be legal. We don't know the TCG exclusives. There's just many factors that um, I don't know yet that I can't have an answer for. I can't give you an answer to that question. I'm looking forward to like build something like fun. All right, easy game. Easy one chat. Okay, so we're in second again. All right, we're going first, okay. Against Dragon Link. Against Dragon Link, so our hand's pretty solid for this matchup. A Floodgate now would be nice. But well, we're not playing the deck actually. Like, like a Branded Fusion would be nice. 
Okay. Hmm. I brought my Hogan to protect it. in defense case of lightning storm but then again we do have Hogan we just don't use tragedy we save it for next turn this max C should be good for us though Choose here again. People forget about a second effect. Maxi. Let me just mirror jade this then. this okay so they got rid of the box it seemed There's ashes then, don't we? Oh, easy. So they're just doing something with the bot. Seems like they're going to do it manually. But he looks familiar. He's trying to network. Yo, what's up, Ma? How you doing? 
How you doing, bro? Okay, looks like we sorted it. Okay, well, let's go back to the... Season 12 already, holy crap. Yeah. Alright, round three, lads. Round three, we're one one. If we win the next three, we make the top four. Stop. Just waiting for them to give it the green light for us to start. I'm there for London. Yeah, you're gonna network, yeah. <clears throat> and that's gonna be a big one. YCS 250. Man, I love what Konami are doing. You know. We've got some good people working there, you know. Some good people, All right? All right, we start on three. Cool, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, okay, that's up again. Wow. All right, so we won all three flips actually, surprisingly, but we bricked last round, which cost us big time. Thanks, go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Looks like we're against Runic. Looks like we're against the Mirror Match. He's got no hand traps. I might, be, I might look crazy then if I get rid of Maxi. I want to be careful not to misclick this. Go. 
guarantee it's runic. I guarantee it's runic chat. Watching Bannis like but Usher, Usher's Bannis like a tip of his of our tip. Uh yeah, we'll add one. And maybe now we want to get the structure then. I think slumber just to protect. But I think destruction's solid. If we're against the mirror match, it's surely destruction here. I'm pretty sure it's destruction. I'm just assuming we're against the mirror. Cosmic, we hit cosmic. Holy fuck. Running good. His next card was cosmic. My god. Oh boy. Like, this is fair, you know? Maybe we should have set this just because of, like, cosmic. Gotta be the mirror match. Gotta be the mirror match, but us having Fiend before him means he can't use his Huggin to get the field spell. And then we have Destruction for his field spell. Okay. Um... Oh, I would, I mean, like, oh man, I should set my destruction now. Why don't I set my destruction? I know he plays Cosmic because he activated one. Hmm. Fine. He definitely plays the Maroonie deck. Definitely playing the Maroonie deck. Or he's not. Okay. Why does Everton have Droplet for our Majesty Fiend? At least we have Ash for his Fractal. Even if we went second, you know, we have Maxi and we had Ash, which is really good for his deck, against his deck. Which means we would have won anyway, most likely. Now he goes Fractal. He only can use one tanky per turn. Um, he could have Barrage, but that's fine. I think we just Ash this. But then again, he just some. I think we just let him do it all. I think we just let him. Oh man, if, if, oh no, if he's got the trap though. Yeah, we should. Um, we stop the nerve ball. This is last map, but the only time we can ash as well because our manager theme will go back up. Okay, it's fine for us, this is fine. We don't mind this. This could be a really close game. Could be a really close game. Oh, he added Fractal, that's annoying. We just don't want to add Fractal normal let and attack over. That's what we don't want to happen.
Discard Fractal. Okay. Drake's dark. Connected to the like how many things we got? We only got fractal hand, that's fine for us now. One, two, three, four. Okay, how many's banishing? Banish free. I banish free. He banish free. Um What what what's what attribute is it? Try bridge jade link free. Oh yeah, I have to do this. Do I activate this so you can't normal summon now? He has to go battle phase attack and trade. Then he'll hold that. Oh, I should have played it. What am I doing? I should have activated it. Maybe he just sends Fractal. Maybe. Okay. Means now he can't. Okay, cool. Like, how long do we have this game? Oh, that's a good draw. How long do we have? Top 20. Um. Run into full pass. Okay, cool. Much fiend. Yes. I can't take over it.
What do you mean, set? So, oh my, my fucking, oh my god, why don't I just summon Hoogan? <sighs> oh my god, I'm so bad. Do I just go... I'm so bad, I play this so bad. I'm so, so bad. I'm so bad. Chat, I'm so awful. I, I threw this. I threw it. I threw the potential chance of losing the game. Would be so annoying if he just slow plays. That's actually the one thing that would be bad about this tournament. Well, there shouldn't be a time limit. What's he doing? What's he doing? Why is he taking so long? I must, I, please tell me I hit my battle phase last turn. Okay, we win now. Okay. And we can stall as much as he wants. Gotta put like a score attack next turn. slow play. It's slow playing, bro. He's just passing. He's wasting time on the clock. Just to win in time. Cool.
Oh, come on. Actually taking ages. This is imperm. Now you're playing faster. Okay, now, okay, now because I said something. Please just be, don't be revolt. Go for that call. That is actually taking ages. Just slow playing for no reason. No, you're not, bro. Okay, cool. Easy. Right, 2-1. Yeah, it really is. Because he like he had no play, he had no cards basically, and he was just taking so long. And he could have been you can just get rewarded for that. Because Master Door doesn't isn't designed with a timer in play apart from its own. So when you implement a different timer with its own timer, it contradicts itself. So why have 20 minute rounds? The game shouldn't be 20 minutes. Because it will just go to the, the games can get decided by time quite frequently. Man. Luckily, I'm streaming, right? Luckily, I'm streaming it. Okay, so we're free. free two, we're two one. We're two one right now after round three. Okay. So we're two one. We just need to win the next two rounds. Oh, easy. Okay. I played a few of them of these already and three of the four losses were for due to time. Yeah, it just it's just mad. Like 
what can they do? Like, what can they enforce? What a time extension for slow play. Maybe they could just do that. But then the player has to report it, and then it just gets, like, weird. Why can't a game be, be decided fairly? You know? Too many people are just abusing these time rules, and it's so annoying. Okay, round four is about to happen. Round four is about to happen, chat. Okay. Okay, we're just waiting for round four pairings. It looks like they're just correcting one result and then we're good to go. It's top four knockout. Okay, seems like we can start. Okay.
I, I like the idea of this tournament. I like what Konami are trying to do here. But there are a few things I c that they probably should change. Like the time limit is just crazy. Ridiculous. I understand they want a fast, smooth tournament. But why have a time limit with a master duel and have your own? Just stick to the time limit master duel, factor in that, and have a best of one throughout the whole tournament up until either the semi-finals or the finals. I think everyone would be happier it's best to won the whole tournament with the master duel time rules than their own and then doing best of three and top four and best of five in the finals. I think that's the best way to change it, to do it and they should change it like that. Hmm. Okay, they're just sorting out right now. Wave pairing's good. With pairings, pairings stay up. Come on, pairings, let's play, man. I want to play. I like that we have tournaments. I like we have that. Come on, let's go. Let's play. Come on. Oh, okay, cool. We can play round four. Round four, round four, round four. <laughs> I swear I played against him. I just played that guy, bro. What?
Okay, don't start. Cool. What is going on? I just played against the same player. What? Okay, so we're going to play the same player. Cool. <laughs> okay, well... I mean, fine. Fighting against the same opponent again. Let's go. Here we go, chat. Round four. Oh, we won the flip again. We won all the four flips. This is um, this is insane. It's like unbelievable. What is his hand? Yep, what is his hand chat? Do we just save this? You could have Cosmic. Play this. Draw. Play this. Draw. We know what he's playing. We just end like this, you know? We just do this. It's quite unfortunate. No Majesty thing, nothing. He might have changed the deck though. No, he's not. Mm. Let me check Cleralisks. They're all wind, aren't they? They're all wind. What am I doing? It destroys it. What am I doing, chat? I thought it was freezing curses. I'm so bad. Does then he just summons it back? Oh my god, I'm so bad, chat. I'm just so bad. That's such a mistake. That is a poor mistake from me. Poor mistake.
Probably gonna go uh, Starling now. Oh, he's linking. Okay, he's making Starling. We should do different graphics for that. So he's not detaching the... He's not detaching the Nerval. Why not? Why aren't you detaching Nerval? Okay. So now he's going to get Sparrow most likely. Or Swallow even. Such a mistake, me. I should have left, let him make this, and then I should have just flashing fire this. Poor mistake from me. Thinking I had a different runic spell. Okay, so he adds that to his hand. Right, if we're there, anything wanted to this is broken. So we should get the, the one that summons one from the grave. Hmm. There's so many factors that shouldn't have happened here. Okay, yeah, make that. Make that, bro. And now he's going to get the tribal game name. But the fact is here, I shouldn't play the same player again. And... Yeah, there's load, loads of things here. So, Karaz. Cool. So now he'll overlay for the Utopic Future. Yep. Well, let's be real, we don't activate monster effects really in this with Hugin. No, this is fine. Now he'll activate his, um, his Tribrigan monster. I think we just chain goes in here. No, I think we let him summon it. We let him summon it. We let him add first. We know he's got the bird in his hand. So he should send his Karaz here. And if he doesn't send his Karaz here... Cool, that's fine. Fine, that's good. It's a good trade for us. Because now he's got the wind in the hand. Which means that we can destroy it next turn. Does it protect itself? Can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Of course it doesn't. Cool. So now we just need to... Okay, let's think about this. This can't be trouble card effects.
think we're just going to draw one here. And we could draw two. Maybe we can do something here then. Maybe we can do something here. Just wait for him to end a battle phase. Yo, Solomon, what's up, man? Am I winning? I know, it's an awkward one. Definitely an awkward one here, bro. Like, we're playing against the same player last round, and he slow played so much. Or I nearly lost. Um, uh, hello everyone, uh, we are looking for the tables the, and uh, I will ask for uh, Lumix and Peatitano. I don't know if you are playing or you are waiting for something. Uh, text me for a private message, please. So right now he's locked. Um, no. So what I'm going to do when he attack, when he declares an attack on it, I'm going to freeze and curse this monster. Negate it. And then this guy will destroy this. I think we will just draw one. <sighs> yeah, that's a good draw. Come on, let me destroy it. That was a good draw. Um, no. Can't make Zeus because it goes in. Um, he has the wind guy, which you will summon. We've already used our oh, negation effect. We haven't used our freeze and fire. So we've got a choice. Okay, end phase, cool. Do I, just not, do I just activate it? Uh, no. Oh. Maybe I should have got the, the other one. I didn't consider drawing one. Maxi's fine. Cool. I don't know. Give me Majesty Fiend. I 
Let Majesty Queen of Raising Chaos just. Maybe I should have played Tit for Freezing Curses. That's the only real card I want to use in case he's drawing two. Because he's drawing two cards, right? He might have Cosmic now. And he had Cosmic last game. Cosmic Skull, that's good. No, we just let him do it. It's annoying, because there's a, there's, a there's a rank 1 that's a really annoying. I don't think he can do much with goes on the field with that rank one in the field in the play. Okay. Okay, when he activates it. I should have destroyed it now. I have to just do it like this. And then he chains and I just negate it. So he chains that. I change freezing curses. Destroyed. I draw free. And it locks the game. I hate when he does that. Okay. Oh man. Oh. 
only we added the freezing curses if they're out of turn. We might scoop now. Let's read this card quickly. Cannot be destroyed by other cards. I hate time, man. Like, time is much. It's crazy in this. 20 minutes is not enough. We're in time in the round right now. We have to finish the end of the turn. Gosh, it's because of skill drain. So then we just do flashing fire. Can we just deck him out? Can we have enough cards to deck him out? in grave no not yet Seven left. Yes. Yes, let's go.
Right, we're 3-1. We're 3-1. The guy we lost to last in round two is was 3-0. He might be 4-0. Hopefully it's 4-0 because my tie breaks go up. Okay, no. So so the guy I lost to is 3-1. Okay, so we're 3-1 now. I actually forgot about my skill drain negating my Hoogan. But it was okay. Luckily we're on the same life. Luckily he had um used his cosmic. If he didn't use his cosmic, yeah, we'd still win actually. Okay, a free one. A free one chat. Okay. Oh man. One more round. Free one. One more round. I want these sleeves. I want these sleeves. They look nice. I'm a big fan of like white and black. So it'd be nice to like own both. Like I have one as my extra deck, one as my main deck. Double sleeved, I think they'll look really nice actually. Like really nice. Surprising how nice sleeves can look, right? Something that should be like so cheap. It looks so good. Okay. My gosh, chat. All right, here we go, round five. Okay, looks like... Twelve. All right, round five. This is round five, chat. There's only like a lot of people dropped. This is ridiculous.
So apparently... All right, okay, let's go. It's not. Okay, let's play. Cool, right. Are you, are you ready? Chat, tell me how, how tell me how this is, yeah. Yo, Liffy, how you doing, bro? Yeah, it's a um it's it's, it's going alright, three one. But it doesn't make sense. Because there's three people four oh. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people three one. How does that work? And I had to play against the same opponent twice in a round. Which now means a lot of people who are 4-1 will miss out on top 4 when that's not normal. Maybe one person should usually miss out, right? Because if they're both... check um, one two three four five six Okay, cool. So it looks like we can start now, I think. Okay, cool. Alright, here we go, chat. It's live tournament. Yeah, it's live, bro. Alright, release the flip. No problem. Yeah, it's live right now, yeah. We're going second. If we win, we got a shot topping. 
we lose, we're out. Right. Hopefully this resolves. How many cards are playing? 40. We might be against Branded here then. Which we haven't played against yet. Also. Okay, please resolve. Please resolve. Please resolve. Don't have cross out or call by. Oh, yeah, okay, good. All right. Okay, let's, now there's a chance. They shouldn't know what we're playing unless they're stream sniping. Okay, they just end. Cool. Interesting. They might have max they might have maxi, but we have Ash now, which is good. So everything's a worm in this deck. Uh, he negates, that's the thing. Just in case he negates it. didn't negate. Okay, cool. No way. He plays Droll. I think we just chain it. I think we just chain it. Case got another Droll in his hand. Sorry, play this. We should have to send this to the graveyard then. He didn't send anything actually, remind me on that. Or water. Hopefully he hasn't got Vishu though.
That's just fine. We could have harpies here. I'd rather just summon this and lock three cards draw. He hasn't got Ash unless he drew it for turn. I'm not going to use Hugo. We drew Ash return, that's ridiculous, man. So annoying. I could have chain blocked, but it's just no point. At least now I can protect my goes and my rivalry though. Uh, my fountain. draw here. I think I want to just draw. He hasn't got another Ash. He would have used it earlier, so he obviously do that one for turn. Hips going back, this is going back, and this is going back. That's free. That in the grave. So no response for this. Uh, no, we're not using our own Ash because we'll just lose if we do that. And then we put them back like this. We'll draw three cards. Broken for each cards to draw. Um, then it's going to set this. Why don't you trigger Blackout's effect to summon a token? I guess now we can tribute someone and turn on an attribute. Why well, do I have a feeling it's got harpies? I'm going to just turn this on now because I don't want to groom me here. We're going to use Slumber now. I mean, I could actually just wait to place Harpies and then split. Not work. We should do that. I'm just trying to draw cards here. Guaranteed. I'm going to guarantee draw three cards to go to six. And then I can start doing cool stuff like that.
I just don't like how it goes straight to main phase two though. That's why I just want to need to turn R2 on. I mean, internet on. Okay, cool. This is fine. That's in the turn. Uh. No. The annoying thing if I tribute someone for this, it just means he can just half feed me. Let's go end. I'll just set one end. I don't want to play the yet. All the good stuff at the bottom. Yeah, let's just do this. I'm just negating it. I'm just not negating it. In phase, yeah? Do we just be greedy? Do we be greedy here? He could have harpies though. All he needs is harpies. Can we just be greedy? And we can go battle phase because he didn't attack my guy. I don't know why he didn't attack it. Just go in phase. We just go end phase. I mean, if he's got harpies and a way to play through Fiend, then he's got it. If not, if he even if he had harpies though, and he didn't have a way through this, we can then just set this up. I just don't. I, I've, I've been reading, soul reading harpies for us since turn two. So I hope he hasn't got it. Okay, we're lucky. Really hard for him to play through this until he draws like harpies.
So you can't long on me. I use any of his panniers. Um, okay. I mean, I guess his only hope is decking me out, I guess. But that's not happening. I'm sure I can deck him out before me, even though I've got less cards. Or because he didn't attack with his Murray into my Hugin. I don't need Maxi draw cards. I'm just gonna set it and tribute it next turn. Just to lock the game. But he's obviously waiting for half his over to stay here. Imagine if I just played his eyes and lose, you know? I mean, I can't resolve that, I what turn after next, so... No, it's definitely a game. Unless I link them away into the uh, Light Charmer. It could be probably imperm. Must be imperm. Turn this off. Yeah. Now it's this game. He might. He might escape. Restrict battle. Nothing you can have. Might double imperm goals and impossible. Okay, cool. We won. We're 4-1. We're 4-1 chat, so we should make it, hopefully. But the way they've run this tournament means it might not go play out like that. So it seems like there's potentially going to be 6 7 4-1s or better. And how should that work in a top 4 with 32 players? Uh, 
Taiwan. Okay, so hopefully we make it. Hopefully we make it. How did Lumpy do? Because he was my only loss. All right, cool. Man. So I had to play against the same player twice because of their, their issue with their bot. Didn't work. We're 4-1 now. But it means that my tie breaks are quite poor because of that. Um, so it's actually crazy. I don't make top cut because of that. It's so crazy. Hmm. Okay, so we're four one. We should, like, in the like, in the real world, we should make it right. Oh man. Okay, so we're four one. We lost to a guy who had a positive record of three two. Um. Yeah, there's no way I can make it given tie breaks because of their issue. Very annoying. Very annoying. Let's see. There's a lot of overtime now. 20 started at 6. Yeah, there's been quite a bit of overtime. Their bot failed. But it's been, like, very poorly ran. Because I had to play against the same player twice because their software paired it. because And they had to change from the bot to a different software, it seems. Which now it just affects my tiebreakers because of their own mistake. Which means I'm just out of the tournament. Even though I'm 4-1. There's 32 players, top four, right? So, so 
Swiss bracket. Swiss bracket calculator, right? So let's just go to. Right. 32 players. There's five rounds. And it's a four top cut. So, um, based on based on five rounds, let me show you. Look, with thirty-two players, five rounds, top four. One person, five zero, and there should be f f uh, five four ones, right? But this one, it just seems like there's going to be infinitely more. So let's see how many let's let's see how many uh players have different scores. So we'll see. We will see, chat. I just got an ultra rare card from a pack. Good job, man. Good job. Okay, so let's just wait. We've got to wait now. It's got to wait. Wait in game. So it should be six people and four, one or better, which means two people should miss out. I'm probably going to come fifth, most likely. But if there's but it, but looking at how they've run this tournament and done the standings and the and the rounds, it looks like there's going to be a lot more players with four one or better because a lot of the X O's and the X ones were playing against people who were X two. Um, so I'm very unsure how it should be run. You know how it how it's coming out like this. If it was just done fairly. I'm fine with it, but it's not. It doesn't seem fair. So it's like I've wasted my evening. Imagine having to go 5 0 to top, like to guarantee top. You know? Hmm. Looks like they're just working it out right now. Maybe we get top three. Maybe, but no, it's very unlikely actually. So I had to play against someone. So in round three, I play. I'm I'm one one. My opponent's one one. I play against him. I beat him. In round four, I play against the same guy. So now I'm two one. He's one two. Hopefully he's one two anyway. I hopefully he weren't like o oh, two right. I play against him, and then I beat him again. So now I'm three one, and now he's one three. So how how surely then I, I should be playing against someone who's three one and three one I beat them I'm now my tiebreakers are better and it should lock me in because I beat someone who's who was three one at the time.
Okay, so we're just waiting now, chat. Just waiting. So we just gotta wait. We just have to wait, you know? I mean, we did stream this. We could have been streaming this like the whole tournament, but it still didn't stop us. Still didn't stop us. Okay. Where is he? What type of deck do I use? So I'm using Runic right now. Really like it. Really like it. I think it's solid. Okay, now we're just waiting on standings. Everyone should be done, right? Yeah, I mean, like, unless this, these guys are playing still. But they, but they said they're just working out based on wins. So we just gotta wait. We could play some more games to be fair. is typing basically the issue i have is um they've made a mistake with the stat with the swiss and how it's been run and played out and they just wanted to you know it's just not right to make sense. Okay. So I've literally just like said to the organizer, this is not right. 
help me to message him. Cool, which I will. I'll keep that all private. Uh, but it looks like I haven't made it based on how he's talking. So, looks like we would have come fifth or sixth or seventh or eighth. I would like to see standings though. Wow. Well, it looks like someone who went 4-0 didn't make it. He lost his last round. Yeah, they've really fucked up, it seems. It's a real it's a shame. Shame. Hmm, what's going on? What's going on, chat? Taking a while. Very confused.
Crazy. Okay, so we came six. Came six. So if my opponent in round four was different and I beat them, it would mean they would end on means points. It's crazy. So I came six because of my opponent's wins, but I got paired down. Okay, he's apologized. He's been he's actually really kind actually. Appreciate that. Okay. All right, guys. So I came six in the tournament. Um, there was definitely an issue with the software um, and they couldn't fix it in time because they needed the tournament to be finished at a certain point because it's ran in Europe, which means they're at an hour ahead. And because it's a weekday and Christmas leading up, they just had to rush it and he's just apologized. Uh, the tournament organizer, very kind of him, actually. He's um, The way he's apologized is very kind of him. Um, so... Yeah, I didn't make top cut just because of the mistake they hit that they made. Um, finished four one. Um, I do like Master Duel actually. I, there's a few things I would change, a few things I would do differently, like with the time rules and stuff. They should be a little bit longer, like even twenty five minutes, thirty minutes would be perfect. Um, there's a few things I would do and change, but I, I guess, I guess they're just gonna learn from it, right? And I guess they just get better leading up to other tournaments that ultimately lead up to the World Championships. Um, all right okay all right guys um i hope you enjoyed the stream hope you enjoy each round um i'm going to be streaming again lithium's tournament on the 27th and then i've got another one on the 28th um all right so guys look after yourselves i hope you enjoyed the content and um yeah all right peace